Bishop. Gita Bishop is in the kitchen. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. You know, she um, was one of the hosts of The Better Half, which is taking a little break. Hopefully, we'll be back next year. Great show. That was so Thank fun. Thank you. Really, really fun. And um, she agreed to get up nice and early and and uh, do some fun game day recipes for us. So what's your plan? Do you uh, know what you're doing yet for the game? Well, I'll probably be freezing outside. <laughs> <laughs> right along with the other fans. For so. a good cause, yes, right? Yes, for a good I cause, know, supporting the team. But a lot of times you watch the game at home. You always watch, though, correct? Yes, we yeah. record them, watch them. I always see the game. Yeah, that's it's got to be a little different perspective, especially when now Desmond's not playing, but when he is, are you just a nervous wreck? Um, I'm a crazy fan. Yeah. Just like them, like, yeah, go! Yeah, yeah. I'm just as crazy as all the other people. But you don't get worried that he's going to get hurt? or um, Now I will, yeah. now that he's yeah. been hurt. But right. before that, no. I don't know. I think, you know, whatever happens, happens. So you just pray that everyone comes out healthy. Very true, yeah. very true. Well, this is a fun one. It's a nice, healthy game day recipe. And um, we're going to do veggie tacos. So, and it's easy. Uh, and I'm looking at lots of great vegetables here, and I know it's hard when you're going to a game day party. There's all this naughty food, so right. it's nice to offer a healthy alternative. I always say do some sort of a veggie and dip platter for those people that are watching it. They can fill up on that. Um, but this is a fun one to do. If you're doing the Tex-Mex Sloppy Joes, you might want to do this as well for the people that are trying to watch it a little bit, Yeah, right? and my uh, friend Chantel, she was up here from out of town, and she kind of taught me how to do this one. Um, it's all, you know, veggie. She's a vegetarian, has been. But we had to make a few adjustments because Desmond is a meat lover. And he's not, wasn't so happy about the non-meat part, but for him, we just baked some chicken on the side and then added it on top. I mean, you can Perfect. use beef, um, you know, tacos, do, you know, really right. whatever you want. So for the same recipe, we're doing veggie tacos, you can mm -hmm. add grilled chicken or, or like right. you say, grilled steak or whatever. So. And I was um, pretty sick the week prior and I needed like vegetables and I needed to kind of shove that nutrition in my body. So I thought this was a good recipe. And, and it's quick and easy too. So and you Very can even buy easy. the pre-chopped up vegetables. So we're starting sauteing some onion and I'm gonna Start chop up here. some uh, yellow summer squash and some zucchini, which I happen to love both of those. And then you're working on the dip, the spread yes. that's gonna go I'm gonna work on, a little bit on top of that here. over there. So we're using not sour cream, you're using a Greek yogurt. Yes, we're gonna, like I said, kind of try to make it a little healthier. And you want to use about a cup. Okay. If you get the small yogurt containers, this is a little bigger one, you just use the whole thing. Okay. And we're using plain, not vanilla. Don't get the vanilla, you want plain. Right, plain. So that's okay. Healthy. I'm going to get in my zucchini, which I happen to love. And you want to put it in there just till it browns. Okay. Don't want to overcook it. You don't want it mushy. Yeah, Got that's kind of how I do it. Sometimes people like it a little mushier, like kind of like a steamed vegetable, mm -hmm. which is fine too. Mm -hmm. And I've got red pepper. So a lot of color in this. This is going to mm -hmm. be pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and add uh, fresh cilantro Ooh, in here. And that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. yeah. And then a uh, taste of a little bit of salt. And then put in fresh lime juice here. Mm. So uh, we were talking earlier, uh, I was talking about, you know, getting as much done as you can ahead of time. So this dip, I'm assuming you can get that done, you know, today oh, or tomorrow sure. morning, get that parked in your refrigerator. And you can make, um, like if you don't want to make the vegetables ahead of time, you can definitely make the dip. Okay, good deal. So that's easy. Salt and pepper. Do you think Desmond will be feeling healthy and uh, back next season? Yeah, he'll be just fine. Good. Yeah, he'll be just fine. Now you can either mash this, um, these avocados up ahead of time and just have them and kind of squish them in there or you can just cut them up and mash them as you go. It doesn't really matter. Yum. So it's got a little, almost like a, a creamy avocado dip. Yes, it's ex mm. exactly that. This kind of makes the, the meal. I mean, okay, it makes sure, the taco. Sure. You need the avocado. Yeah. Yum. Especially for me. Sometimes I put extra avocado. Yeah. I, avocado is that good fat and I happen to love it. So yeah. cumin and, and garlic powder both go in here, is yep. that right? Okay. Cumin, garlic powder, and then um, a little bit of salt. Okay, I did the salt already. Did the salt, so, okay, yep. perfect. Yum. And sometimes I'll sprinkle a little bit of pepper in there. I did some see. pepper. You yep. got some pepper, yep. okay, yep. perfect. Oh, this looks You can already see fantastic. it looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like a, I don't know, like a different version of a fajita yeah. mix kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. And then corn? And then corn, yep. And you can use fresh corn, or I don't know, is this one canned? This says frozen corn. Oh, I mean, frozen corn, um, perfect. But, you know, as you said, I like frozen corn better than the can. I just think it's got a little more crunch to it. Okay. Certainly, 
when fresh sweet corn's in season. That yeah. would be fantastic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I now, agree. I, um, Gita and I were talking about warming the, the tortillas, um, and I think you do it. I think it's really important to bring these babies back to life. You like corn tortillas, huh? I do. I do too. I, either one is fine. It's really what you prefer. Uh huh. But I take a, like a, you don't want them to dry out, so I do like a wet paper towel. Yep. And do you have the rest of those? Other in there? Just a, or even a clean dish towel. Yeah. Just to kind of moisten it and then pop these in the microwave. You can throw them on the this grill. This is so good. Oh, it smells just amazing. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's healthy, but you're not going to be feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm just going to warm those for a second. The avocado um, like type of dressing is actually ready now. Ooh. One thing I always kind of do is try it to make sure it's not too sour. I mean, because you are using plain yogurt, you're using lime. You want to kind of like make sure it doesn't taste too sour. It's really up to you, but sometimes I'll just add another avocado. Okay, got it. But that's for me. I love avocados. I do too. I like to put them in salad, whatever, you name it. Anything, yeah, yeah. that's exactly how I am. All right, so these are done, nice and warm. Start putting them together. Ah, look perfect. Mm. And this way you get that soft kind of moist mm -hmm. too, like, mm -hmm. or like when you go to like Mexican restaurants, you see them steaming yeah. kind of oh, thing. Yeah, that is, yeah, I'm gonna get some tongs. And a little cheese. It looks like we've got some feta cheese we're going to use instead That's of the right. traditional. Yum. We're going to use this yummy feta cheese. Oh, it looks so good. I'm liking this. Not even, not just for game day, but just for a nice quick weeknight dinner. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, for the meat lovers, you can put different kinds of meat on here. I think this might be good with steak. Or shrimp. Or shrimp. Yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Uh -huh. Or maybe steak and shrimp. Yeah. All right, so let's do a Smell little bit. Smell is of delicious. It does. Some more red pepper I there. Cut this up here. Let me just cut some of this out. You can get the, you know, already crumbled feta mm -hmm. cheese mm -hmm. or the. Mm -hmm. Oops. There you go. Oh, Gita, this looks really good. So should we put a little dollop of the? Yes, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna. I put a, a big uh, scoop here. Forget the little dollop. Yeah, forget we'll go, the little yeah, dollop. Yeah, love it. These look fantastic. So what are we making next time? Um, next time we're going to make a chicken stir fry. Mmm, can hardly wait. Stay mm. with us. Gita's going to stay. And we've got some more fun game day ideas too. So we'll be right back.